because their language is so universal, these narratives are readable by a lot of people. And that means that Toyism, for me, is a movement without boundaries. The Drens Museum is an 11,000 square meter museum located in the north of the Netherlands, quite close to the location that, where Toyism started. And it's a museum that focuses on archaeology, art around the 1900s and contemporary figurative Dutch art. And um, we are a museum that attracts approximately between 150 and 200,000 visitors per year. And uh, therefore we are now uh, situated in the top of the biggest uh, museums in the Netherlands. Toyism is a very interesting movement uh, in relation to the social and the society challenges that we, um, that we encounter every day. Because through their language, their art, art language, they uh, have a very lively and vibrant um, style in their work. And yet, at the same time, they, uh, they, they address topics that are very actual and not always very easy. So through their artworks, um, they uh, teach us to look at topics in a different way. And I think that is a very important role of artists in general, uh, re referring to society. I think um, toyism is a bunch of wild guys and girls um, that know um, exactly what they are doing. And they, their work appears in, in locations that you'd never expect to see art. We can talk about art and, and show it in museums and be within the walls of the museums, everything is considered art. But outside the walls of the museum, it's not very logic to have manifestations, artworks, temporary projects. And I think through this approach, Toyism is really steering up society and I think it's important. For them to be anonymous is their strength. But for me it's also very annoying because I really want to know who's behind it. So they appear in rare places, you don't know who they are, you're stuck with their ideas and you actually want to know more about them. You actually um, focus on their ideas. Oh.